Hey guys, my name is Alonescape and welcome to a loot video on the new boss Karapak that's located in the northern front of the Elder God Wars dungeon. I posted a guide earlier today of the boss that's directed towards beginners, so if you want to check that out, link will be at the top of the description or also as a card on the top right of this video right now. I started and reset my loot counter on the rune metrics add-on after my first two kills. So the end kill count will be 52, but I will of course only count in those last 50 kills. Without rambling too much, my first impression of just even doing the first 10 kills was that this is going to be a very profitable boss. I felt like it was very rare to see the drop less than 700k when I opened the loot window, so I have very high expectations for what the overall value will be for all these kills. Also, as an Iron Man, there are copious amounts of amazing items that this boss drops. Great Alkyballs, like really great Alkyballs, a ton of cannonballs, that's obviously a pain to craft for an Iron Man. Soul runes, which are also actually quite hard to get on an Iron Man, and if you don't have the level to craft them, it's really bad. Also, I am not joking, but at the absolute last kill, a kill, kill number 50, I got a rare drop. I managed to get the magic tier 85 new gloves called the Carapac Wrist Wraps, which increase your combustion damage by 25% and makes it an instant damage spell. I can't actually wait to try them out on my Iron Man and see how strong they really are, but now let's get into the total loot section of this video. That is the more interesting part. So now to the loot, I actually reset everything here on the drops and this is everything that I got. But I'm going to redraw everything from the bank except for the Triskelion keys because they are just going to take up space and they're not worth anything really. They are one full Triskelion key from 50 kills so that is a pretty decent drop rate for the keys I would say. But also as I am an Iron Man I'm going to have to drop everything on the ground and then click on the pile to see how much it's going to be worth. I'm going to just solve this for you guys but let's take out one of these for example. And if I would do this, it would only say it's worth 100k, but if I would drop it on the ground, it would say in the loot window 166k, which is the actual main game amount. So this is all the loot that I got, I am going to price check it in just a second, but just look on the blue charms, that's more than 20 per kill, which is a very very good for blue charms. So if you want to get some insane summoning experience, I would definitely recommend this boss. I have not killed it on hard mode yet, so I don't know how much better the loot is there, but I would say normal is probably pretty unbeatable with how easy the boss is to kill. Also 17 pages, and they are just, you know, the standard price 400k now, same with the gloves, so they are are pretty hard to price check. These items are most likely worth more than these values, maybe the pages are worth a bit less, but I would really assume that the gloves are going to be worth more than 5 million. Also, for an Iron Man, this is super good because the Alkyballs is just super good. Look at this, this is 5.2 mil and just Alkyballs. Same with this, this is almost like 7 million or even more than that in Alkyballs, and all these Dragon Stones is so many lucky components, so if you're an Iron Man, this is definitely a pretty good boss to do for supplies and also decent prayer experience from the dragonkin bones also these hydrix ball tips are actually worth a lot you can see 40k in the main game so this is also a good amount of money but before we price check all this i do want to open all these elder troves i put this Skillion key in the bank and also actually i forgot about the 2.2 million now also 100k was added from the troves so this is a more overall accurate loot of everything including the troves so now I'm just going to drop everything on the bank and this might be, as I said, a bit inaccurate of what the actual values is going to be like in a week or a month because these items will of course go up and down. I don't want to drop all too much but the first one is 34 million and the second price check is on 20 million and the only item I haven't dropped yet is the gloves but they are 5 million so that is 54 million plus 5 million which is most likely worth more so it's almost a 60 million price check which means the boss is worth more than a million on each kill. I'm going to go and try out my tier 85 gloves now for my Iron Man series, but I'm sorry for the inconvenience of be me being an Iron Man, it's just how it is I guess in the game. I wish there was an option to like turn off the Iron Man values on the price checker. If there was it would be very nice for future loot videos, but for now I'm going to have to do the drop trick. But I hope you guys found this informative anyways and good luck on your Carapac killing. Hope you guys have a good one, take care. Subscribe.